My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to the Binding Galactic Afterbirth. If I sound a little weird, it's because I am horribly, horribly sick today, but I'm very busy on both days either side of today, so I really have to get stuff done now. I actually like uh, this one. What's it called? Uh, Puplex? Wide Puplex? Hmm. Cure. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, we're fine. Cool. I don't know if I want to go with it, though, especially since we're on the first floor and we've got the ability to re-roll it. And it's a daily challenge. What if that's where everyone opens their seam? They re-roll it once and they get, I don't know, magic mushroom, cricket's head, something like that. And I'm the one idiot who didn't re-roll it. Gosh, what a fool I'd look. I don't know if I could, uh... If I could withstand being so foolish in the eyes of so few. What am I going to do here? Uh, Alright. First off, let's buff ourselves up a little bit. Specifically for this room. Just because I don't really care about being on low health-ish this early. It would take a champion getting a very lucky hit in to actually end my run at this point. So I'm fine with going down to the one heart. Also go back up here and shoot these fires. Not a huge fan of taking the tick, I'll say that much. Oh. Whew. All right, aggressive flames, please, uh, please keep your hands to yourself. Thank you very much. Okay, that is six cents. That's probably two re-rolls on the item. We'll try. It's also a possible secret room, which is why I did it. Probably should have said that earlier. Okay, that's a possible... a bunch of rerolls. Hmm. Let's go fight the boss first. Just in case what we got from this boss would influence our decision one way or the other. Come on, out of your corner, buddy. Gosh, he's really not fond of getting out of that corner. Okay, now we should be fine. Just had to blow up at least one of the TNT. Uh, sure, we'll take ball of bandages. We've no way to re-roll it anyway. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, that's not coming off. Hmm. Actually, it can come off now. You just have to get the... <clears throat> the matchstick trinket. No, we'll keep rolling. It's health plus damage. 0 0.3 damage, though. It's actually pretty good. Alright. I can't ask for an incredible amount more. Especially considering the reliance we're going to have on arcades in the following floors. We may as well take something that's going to make those arcades more valuable for us. Uh, let's blow that up because it could have dropped the matchstick, which could have burnt off the tick. So at the moment, my damage looks horrible, but we leave, enter the next room, and whoa, it's fine again. There's a bug in the game that uh, a lot of effects that should be applied aren't on the first floor of the next... Sorry, first room of the next floor. Holy Mantle also suffers from this, so don't go immediately into a curse room if you're relying on Holy Mantle keeping you alive while you go in. Well, that's really unfortunate. If we find a temperance machine, we're going to be really happy, though, because there is full health, obviously, in that room, as a result of the bed. Oh, perfect. Infinite bombs this floor, don't mind if I do. 
Okay. <clears throat> we'll even go for the... Whatchamacallit? The crawl space, that is. Okay, anything here? Rather than fight them, leave the room and come back. God damn, that would be good right now. If only I didn't fuck up and pick up the tick last floor. Ugh. Okay. All of these. Nothing. Fine. Alright, I'll try him. Nah. Amnesia for range up. I probably would take that, actually. This early on, I really don't care. This is fine. Now we take this, go up here. Blow up all these fools. So basically, I'm using the razor blade at this point like a really, really gimped version of an IV bag. But, uh, it's working out. I can choose at any point just to up my damage if I feel like the room is going to be annoying. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can get the quarter here. Let's leave that room. going to be fine. No need to power up during it. Okay, don't care about this. Could only give me the matchstick is the only thing that I would care about. Rather than shoot it, just bomb it. The freedom that a gold bomb allows you is just incredible. I feel like this could be what differentiates the people in this run. Whether or not you find a crawl space black market here. Easily could be. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Let's, uh... Ooh, key. Curse of Blind, unfortunately. Super bandage is good. Thankfully, I had the bombs there, otherwise that would have been dismal. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. I don't have enough to go in there. Oh, God. Are we not going to get a key to go in there? That's terrifying. No keys at all on this run, apparently. Please, just a key for completing this room. Or a box from the boss, or a lucky key. Not lucky key, what's it called? It gives you luck and two keys, so you'll forgive me for calling it a lucky key. Latch key? I think it's called latch key. Wow. This is atrocious. I got everything I need for a shop, and then the shop won't open. I have everything I need for a shop, except for a, a shop. Oh. Alright, let's fight him. Got a lot of damage for this room. Thankfully, I've recently learned that the Razor Blade deals Red Heart damage first, which is just beautiful. Uh, sure, we'll take both. Guppy's Collar and Cambion Conception. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty good for us. Cambion Conception is going to be helping us make sure that we get familiars whilst we harm ourselves 
I'm just gonna buff myself already in anticipation of going into the next room because there's not many rooms uh, here in the caves that I'm not gonna want to be buffed up for. I mean, 2.5 is legitimately one full damage lower than base damage. It's pretty fucking bad. Fighting these things with base damage and base tears is so annoying. Imagine fighting them with uh, lower than base damage and base tears. I can't imagine it would be a fun time for me. Okay. Is this going to blow up into two? And if it does, will it blow those two up immediately? We'll never find out. Oh, God. I'm going to be so terrifyingly sad if... Uh, what happens on this floor is it gives you a paperclip trinket and I can't take it because I took the fucking tick. Tower, okay. That can't be a secret room, fine. I'll tower this room. Mm-hmm. The tower in this room was basically a, yeah, fuck this room entirely. Pretty much all it could be described as. Fuck everything about this room. It's not as bad as a lot of the horrible rooms, but it's close. Dang it. Thought I was going to get away with that one. Okay, self-sacrifice room. I'm interested. You have piqued my interest. But that said, I don't really have the health for it right now. By which I mean red health. I don't have the red health for it. Because you only really want to be spending things on it that you can immediately refill afterwards. You don't want to bankrupt yourself health-wise while playing one. That doesn't really help anyone. Okay. Are we done yet? Almost. Please blow up. Thank you. Whew. Just wanted to test that mushroom for free. Keys, anywhere, please. Just something. A show of good faith. I have a shop that desperately needs my love. Thank you. That's going to the shop first. Just because of the amount of money I have and the fact that the shop can possibly get me a key to go to the item room. Hmm. Necro 2 is the double boss items. Marked. I actually don't like it much. Unless I have something like Brimstone, in which case it just becomes 0 0.7 tears up. I haven't visited yet. You know what? I will take Pandora's box. Come on. Nope. Okay, fine. And we'll leave. Oh, man. Blow it up. Wait a second. Uh. Sorry. I might... I might not be comprehending this correctly, but why is my health red? Why have I got red health? Right, I'm gonna have to use my orbital to deal damage here. But why have I got red health? Did I pick something up? 
Did I pick up red hearts along red hearts along the way? Am I that dumb? Or did I accidentally full heal from something or other that I don't recall? Please stop having red creep below you. It's making it difficult for me to use my orbital. Thank you. Whew. You know what? We're gonna go Hogwild here. Yep, Hogwild time. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's push this over here. Over here. Thank you. No. Five. Six. Angel room. Thank you. And it's a horrible night for a curse, apparently. Oh, if only I'd flight. Well, perfect. That's when I had to stop playing anyway. And then we go over here, we take this, and we go down to the next floor. Ugh. This is going to be annoying. Going to have to find a kosher way to take red heart damage. Mm-hmm. So I need a temperance machine or a self-harming item. Oh, never mind. We've been freed of the curse. Now we can take damage as we please. So that we can have the curse again. Look, I didn't think this through. Okay, go back to get the money and curse of the maze fucked me. God damn it, curse of the maze. No. Oh, God, there's an arcade down here. I totally could have gotten that. Oh, ooh. Spicy, trying to kill me, eh? Ooh. What a naughty poop. Okay. Finish them all off. Ah, perfect. Kind of exactly what we were looking for. So now our deal with the devil chance is kind of tanked, but you know, it's fine. God, if I had a swallowed penny, just think of the money. Think of all the money that I'm still getting because I have piggy bank. Where am I going to? Oh, I'm going to Shale. Don't you dare. Ugh, trying to fly back at me. Okay, so Demon Baby has spawned as a result of taking enough damage on Cambian Conception. If you hadn't caught on yet, this is kind of a huge part of our game plan at this point. Because we've realized we're taking a lot of damage in this run. May as well capitalize on that. One made us larger, unfortunately. I probably wouldn't take that, but... Now I'm derived of the opp sorry, deprived, rather than derived, deprived of the opportunity thanks to this horrible, horrible trinket. God damn it. If only I could find a matchstick of some kind. I'd really like to actually be able to show that off finally in one of my episodes, using the matchstick to remove the tick. I wonder if it has an animation. Probably not, but maybe. But probably not, but still maybe. Video game. Be nice. That's fine. I actually quite like that. Familiar? Damn it. Damn it. Double damn it. Alright. Let's play this uh, for keys. Oh, I got a pretty fly. It's pretty good. 
God damn it, you promised to give me a key. Never mind. And we're out of here. Okay, let's go get us something amazing, shall we? Wow, amazing. Let's take the key at least. We should find our super secret room because we could actually get some stuff to happen as a result of that shitty shop item. Specifically if we found an internal heart room or a black heart room. Could make some very nice things happen. Eternal heart room I'm not particularly fussed on though because I don't really want much red health. Okay, nothing spawned. Even Red Heart Room I might be interested in, just because it would enable me to play the... Ooh, easiest of my life. Eh, it is an Eternal Heart Room, but I don't really care. That was a waste of a key if I've ever done one. What the hell happened to my health? I apparently picked up health. Imagine my surprise. Mm-hmm. Didn't expect so. Deal with the devil, that is. Alright, let's go all the way back and play away this health. It's a book of shadows, so I don't care. Excuse me. Okay. So we want to be in Horror Babylon State specifically as Eve, because it removes your horrible uh, 0 0.85 times damage multiplier, as well as giving you the damage bonus. Oh, cool, we got our third orbital. That's literally what I was still playing for. Okay, we're out. Fuck this room. Makes you focus more on the game than you have to. And we're out of here. Perfect. Should have an immaculate chance of getting a deal with the devil this floor. Oh god. Uh, for Pandora's box, I think... I think this counts as the second floor? Nope. Well, that's a shame. So, holy, what the fuck? I, I mean, my tier rate is not good. So, what does that do? I think it's tier delay times 2.1. Yeah, and then plus some factor as well. Oh, hang on. Ah, uh, damn it, of course I can't take that. Now I've made myself sad again. Okay, let's try and get enough tears up to try and offset this a little. Because that's when uh, Mutant Spider really shines. I can see forever. Beautiful. Okay, and boom, secret. Mm. <sighs> kind of grumpy about the low quality of that one, but uh, it's fine. Just want a small rock, it's all I've ever wanted, please, video game. Find it in your heart. Boom. Okay, I have to locate the shop 
And the item room. Perfect. Thank you very much for that key. Otherwise, I wasn't going to say the item room as well. I really don't feel good about this run yet. I'm starting to feel a lot better about Mart now that I'm not getting tears up from anywhere. That's interesting. Not good, but interesting. It has the capability to become good, but it has very little time to do it. I mean, we have one shop. So somehow I need that one shop to supply infinite rerolls. So restock plus a reroll would actually do that? It's not... Uh, sorry, restock plus a battery in the shop would uh, actually do that. It's not entirely infeasible, but it is very unlikely. Ow. I wish I'd make some... Uh, sorry, make. I wish I had made some smarter decisions earlier in the run. First off, remembering that apparently... Pandora's box plays as though you're on the first of a set of two floors if you're on an XL floor. That would be important. Because then I would save it for Womb Utero 2. Also, going to the shop a few floors ago rather than going to the item room. I can't remember what I got in the shop, but I was thoroughly underwhelmed. Maybe taking marts, possibly. Maybe continuing to re-roll the... First off, not picking up tick. Okay, that's another huge one. Uh, continuing to re-roll the item on the first floor, or possibly not re-rolling it at all. Either of those seem more correct than what I ended up doing. Mom's key would actually be surprisingly effective with uh, with D20 as well, in terms of getting us a break. Justice puts a lot of stuff on the floor, so again, it could be used to try and start up a D20 room break. See, I'm curious, if you break the game in a daily, is your score going to be just infinitely higher than everyone else's? Relax. What is this? Okay, you are costing a lot, buddy. You're not really giving back. Thank you. I take back everything I ever said. Mini Mush. Size down. I'll take it just for that, at least. Six items in this room. I think there's seven in the secret. If there's an arcade, oh, we're done. This game is roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp if there's an arcade. Thank you. I think I have a fool card. Might be interested in that. Let's go first off, see if there is any possibility for an arcade. I know that right here cannot be one because it has to be an end room. Yeah. Uh, there could be one off the bottom of this side. Nope, apparently not. Oh, nice. I got an incubus from taking enough damage. Very nice. 
Incubus is going to be firing our same tiers with our same tier speed. Uh, tier delay, that is. Tier rate, whatever. However you wish to refer to it. All you need to know is that it's real good. Okay, there's still more things in here. We'll probably use that. I'm feeling like that's the go. Okay. Infinite rerolls didn't happen. I have no way that I'm aware of to generate rerolls. Yeah, this might already be over before it even began. Okay, so let's go get this. Go back in here. Hey, was. Hey, was. Nope. Not helpful, unfortunately. Empress. I definitely should have put down justice, but... I mean, it probably wouldn't have helped. It'll make me feel better if I say that it probably wouldn't have helped, because... If it turns out to have been crucial to actually starting the break here, I'm gonna feel bad, won't I? Alright, let's get out of here. Are you kidding me? Something put me above red health again. I... I have no clue what's doing this. I... Did I take placenta? Did I... Did I actually take placenta? No, I don't have placenta. I don't have anything... Oh, I know what it is. The tick. The tick is healing me every single time I go into a boss room. Yeah, that's kind of a rookie mistake. It's one of the reasons that the tick is, again, an absolutely abysmally horrible thing for us to have accidentally gotten. And we got it just because I stopped paying attention for half a second and tried to run through a room. I would have much preferred just getting hit by spikes or something. You know, the usual punishment that I pay for that. Alright, Succubus... Another item that could have been spawned from our Cambian Conception. Uh, Curse the Blind. Yay. So when you're in the aura of Succubus, you have a 1.5 times damage multiplier, which does stack with the other 1.5 times damage multipliers in the game, so it doesn't become another one of those unstackables that you hate, or that I hate. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna assume you hate them. Although, you probably do, let's face it. Oh gosh, the sickness is horrible. It sounds horrible. Hopefully as much of that as is possible can be cut out. Uh, let's try this. If, if that was a good pill, we would have been in a great position. So it was worth trying. Come on, please. Deal with the devil. Two, two heart deals. Damn it! Blue cap is actually pretty good. Oh. What the hell is with my deal with the devil chance? Why is it 100%? I don't... I don't understand. Video game, please explain to me. What have I done? Because I'll, I'll replicate it every single time I play this game. As long as you tell me what I've done so I can do it. Ooh, arcade.
Well, I have no batteries outside, unfortunately. Ugh, tears down. Yuck. Abel, unfortunately, does not go to wards conjoined, nor do any of the familiars that I have. Okay, this is kind of a shitty room so far. <clears throat> you know, except for the obvious fact that it helped me get into Horror Babylon State, which I am very thankful for. I don't want to understate that. Whew. Blimey, that was difficult. Difficult, sorry. Uh, destructive, I believe is the word I was looking for. Okay, battery baby. Drop me some battery babies. 48 hour energy is important. Empress. No, drop that on the ground. Three, four. Hmm. Ah, god damn it, Abel. Uh, golden key is good. If we plan to do much more of this. Fuck. Well, we evidently don't plan to do much more of this. Temperance? No, High Priestess. Had to blow that heart away from the entrance. Oh, well. Nothing really worth having, unfortunately. Stars, Hermit, Hierophant. We did get a bunch of spirit hearts out of it, at least. That was nice. I'm really not focusing on score. Right now, I'm focusing on don't lose the video game, right? Don't let that stupid mistake you made a number of floors ago, like literally on the first floor of the game, uh, screw you over. I cannot tell you how much easier life would have been if I just didn't have the tick. So much easier. And now I've taken red health. Great. Good work, Ryan, you goddamn tool. May as well take all of this at that rate. Ugh. Well, that was a shitty room. Alright, let's see if we can... I don't know. Find a boss room at some point? That'd be nice. We done? Oh, shit, yeah. Managed to funnel them into the fuck corridor. No, thank you. Really don't care about any of those anymore. Usually a tinted rock in here, but again, don't really care anymore. It's this floor and next floor. I mean, you know. I don't really need to look out for the long-term success of this run. I don't really need to care about my power level on, say, the dark room. Alright, uh, let's try for a super secret. No. Eh, I can't be fucked to try anywhere else. Alright. Let's go fight the heart. And... 
and Gish slowed it. Good work, Gish. Deal with the devil was guaranteed, apparently. Oh, cool. I am totally all about that fucking life. Kill me. How do I die? How do I die? Oh, there we go. So coming back as Judas' Shadow is going to mean that I come back with almost a 2.0 damage multiplier. But also it will mean that my Whore of Babylon will constantly be procced. So you can kind of see the effects on our damage right now are absurd. So that deal with the devil single-handedly pumped our power level up just an insane amount. Sheol. Really don't need to care about anything but the boss room right now. That's not a self-sacrifice room, is it? No, it's not. How am I supposed to be able to tell? It has spikes in the center. There's so many designs for self-sacrifice room now. Okay, I should be able to get a third familiar from Cambian Conception. But, you know, I don't mean to get greedy. It's just, I think, you know, I believe that's the limit. Okay, no. And I haven't reached it yet, so what gives game? I've been taking a lot of damage. I really have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, I fucked up. <laughs> way, way too late. I'm one hit from dead. Apparently, uh, Battery Baby blocks tears? This is something I heard the other day and I still don't quite believe, but is apparently true. Apparently, Battery Baby blocks tears. I wonder if it blocking tears is the trigger for it also... Wait, what? Th 390 Huh? Did people just not finish this game? How am I ranking in the top 1,000? That doesn't make sense. Hang on. I'm going to check greedbutt.com. Greedbutt.com weans out all of the cheaters from the scoreboard. Greedbutt.com. It weans out all of the cheaters from the scoreboards, and it also tells you your percentage, I believe. Like, what percentile you're in. Did people just do horribly on this one? Who? Rhapsody. Found three people for Rhapsody. I'm this Rhapsody. Uh... No, apparently it doesn't have me yet. Interesting. Although, my best performance has been in the top 0.3% of Isaac players. And I believe that was time on... I think that might have been the Judas run. Yeah, I think I, I think that might have been the Judas run that went to Mega Satan that I did the uh, skip through the self sacrifice path for. Well, my name has been Rhapsody. I've been horribly sick. That has been the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We managed to at least pull out a victory, even though the tick fucked us on the first floor. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourself, and we will see you next time.